Hey everybody, good morning. It's Friday, time for Facebook Friday. I um, appreciate those of you who are gonna find me this morning early. Um, I sent out a quick email this morning saying I needed to go on live a little bit early this morning. So hopefully you guys will be able to find me. If not, you know, it's always available in the replay and on my YouTube channel. Um, I always upload them right away over there because Believe it or not, there are a lot of people who aren't on Facebook. Hello, hi, Marsha. Good to see you guys. Good morning, hi, Heather. All right, good. So, fair warning, this morning I am off my game. <laughs> I am gonna probably make a thousand mistakes today. I have already run several errands this morning. Um, it has just been crazy. So, we're just gonna have crazy fun, hopefully. Um, okay, so today, I picked this bundle and I, I keep wanting to call it, well now I can't remember what I call it because I just looked at the title. It's called So Much Happy um, and it's this set. And it might not jump out at you right away um, when you look through the catalog, but it's a great versatile set. Um, here are the dies that go with it. And um, I'm gonna show you also, I know it's backwards, right? You guys are seeing it backwards probably. Um, the um, camera flips it when I turn you guys down. You'll be able to see it the right way. But um, the French dies, actually no, it's not backwards because I have the die on backwards. I was thinking it doesn't look backwards. Anyway, this is the same die set, see? But it, it's the French version. So, bravo. Now, I looked it up and the meaning of bravo is not happy. So maybe my French friends out there will tell me why bravo is, sub, is subbed for happy. I use bravo as congratulations. I think we all do, right? Bravo, Good, great job. So I thought I want those dies too. Um, and the other good thing, so there's no other words, right? So there's no French words. So if you're not French speaking, it's okay. Um, but if you're like me, sometimes having two of the same die makes things go faster. So um, especially like this banner. And these are really cool, this stitched, um, it's like an embossed, it gives you the stitch lines. So anyways, we're gonna talk about the French version of the happy, dies not happy days I will probably call it that happy dies okay so that's what we're gonna do today um, and I have a bonus project too I'm gonna show you hopefully I'll remember this week and I'll post it on my blog on Monday Sarah it does mean well done in French too right that's that's what I came up with in my Google search but I thought what I don't know maybe those maybe they just needed a French word with five letters <laughs> to fit on the die okay so that's what we're gonna do today. Um, do, 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 do. Let's do prizes, okay? I picked two, I'm gonna flip the camera around in a minute. That's why I'm gonna do prizes, prizes first. Um, Gina is asking, what's the number for the French dies? It's on the PDF today. It's not in the catalog, and I'll show you guys when we get to that project. It's not in the catalog, but if you go online, um, it'll be there. If you just type in um, happy dies, it comes up, and it'll show you the die set and the number. Um, last week I picked two random winners to win the round of applause stamp set. So Robin, my friend Robin knows I'm not going to say her last name. We're going to say Robin Nichols because sometimes she writes that. Robin, she's got a really great last name. Congratulations, Robin. I have your address. And Kayla Stoops, congratulations to you. Kayla, do I have your mailing address? I'm not, I don't know. Message me. Message me, Kayla, okay? All right. So those are the winners. This week I have two big prizes. Um, next week I'm taking the kids to the beach. We are taking the kids to the beach. We are getting the heck out of here for a few days, you guys. You know, I don't know about you guys, but this week in particular has been rough around here. Super difficult. We have hit a wall here. Um, we're tired of this lockdown, which really isn't a lockdown anymore. You guys know, I don't even have to say it. It's in Texas, numbers rising, people losing their minds, going crazy, right? And this week, me, myself in particular, and my kids have hit a wall. We've had enough and we're like emotional wrecks and crazy. So next week, we're gonna get out of here and we're gonna go to the beach. We're just gonna get away. So 
next week there'll be no Facebook Live, okay? Um, I'm just going to take the week off. You know, I, I realized too this week part of my problem is that I forgot it's summer and I haven't really been, because we can't go anywhere or do anything, I haven't really been feeling that, you know, the tug to take my kids to the movie or whatever. But I realized this week we need to take some time. It's summer vacation and we need to treat it that way. So next week, taking the week off, going to the beach, reset, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully. It's supposed to be record heat here early next week. Perfect time to go to the beach, right? So we've rented a house. We're going to quarantine in the house and the pool at the house um, and hopefully reset. You guys, this week it seems like it's been really, really hard for everybody. I don't know why. Um, here school is <laughs> questionable whether we're going to have school in August. And this week, if you guys watch the news, it's kind of become a hot topic on the news. Um, and it's just stressing me out. I need to stop watching it. I need to stop reading Facebook. Um, I think that's part of us, my kids. My kids want to go back to school. They're desperate to go back to school. And you know I want them to go back to school. So anyways, I know a lot of my friends have had a rough week too. Something about maybe it's just the middle of summer and we're all just kind of like, Ugh. Anyways, long way around to telling you next week's prize is a beach bundle, right? Timeless Tropic. Goal. I almost said tropics. Timeless Tropical Beach Bundle. And not one, but two. I'm going to give away two of these for two people sharing the video. Random, okay? And it won't be until, what will the date be on that? I won't be back until, woo, the 24th of July. You know, usually I get all excited towards the end of July because it means school's going to start and my kids will go back to school. But now it's like, who knows? There, it feels like there's no light at the end of the tunnel on this, doesn't it? Feels like... Debbie, you, she says in Florida, they're forcing the schools to open. Debbie, they're doing that here too, but I don't believe anything until I see it, right? I mean, they, the way things are changing, my kids were supposed to go to camp in two weeks and they have been so excited and the camp has been open. We're staying open. Everything's exciting. We're, we've got precautions. It's going to be great. We got an email this week that it's canceled. So I'm not counting on anything. It's hard. And my kids are tired of it. They're tired of isolation. They're tired of being bored. It's rough. So anyways, we're crazy around here. We are losing our minds. Um, you know, those stages of grief, I feel like we've gone through those and we're cycling back around. <laughs> we'll get there. One day this will all be a memory and we'll laugh about it, right? Hopefully. Okay, anyways, thanks for sharing. Patricia, I saw that you said that you shared, so thanks. Okay, you guys ready to flip around? Uh-oh, what happened? I had this on my iPad and it looks like I can see you guys. Um, okay, so I am a little summered out. I usually try to, okay, close your eyes. I usually try to look a little more professional, but as you guys, I told you last week, we were getting a new boat. And guess what? We didn't get the new boat for 4th of July. So that was probably part of our problem is we were super grouchy during 4th of July, didn't have anything to do. But we got the boat yesterday, finally. So that's why I bumped this early. Um, because if I told my kids they couldn't go to the lake today because mommy had to do Facebook Live, they would probably have revolted. So that's why we're doing it early. I appreciate you guys. As soon as I'm done, I'm jumping in the truck with my husband and we are gonna go get some vitamin D and spend some time with our kids. Okay, so here's what we're going to make today. Um, you know what? I'll put this to the side because we'll talk about that last because let me just run through what I need to tell you first. The All-Star Tutorial Bundle PDF. I feel like I don't ever do a good job of describing this. Let's see if I can do it today. Me and 11 other amazing Stampin' Up! demonstrators have created a team where we each uh, design a tutorial every month. And Kylie, who is our leader, she takes all of our tutorials and puts them together in a PDF. And so last round, we decided instead of just doing random, we were gonna pick a bundle each time. So this month's all-star tutorial bundle is the Peony Garden, 12 tutorials with the Peony Garden um, suite or uh, bundle. And then, see, I always like, I always trip over when I'm trying to describe it. So it's a PDF like this. <clears throat> and this time, this is the first month of the six months that we're doing it. We do it in six months chunks. 
um, we are doing videos instead of typing it word for word. So each one has a video that you can um, go and watch the tutorial. You also have, each one has a list of, you know, all the products that we use and it has measurements in Imperial and um, metric. Okay, for our friends all over the world, anybody can use it. So the way what we do with this is we give it to our customers for free when they spend $50 or more with us and I am super behind. So if you ordered in the last week or so, uh, don't worry, I haven't forgotten you, okay? Um, you're gonna get it in your inbox for free. The other way to get it is to subscribe. And when you subscribe, um, you can either pay monthly or you can pay the six months up front and you get the, um, you pay for five, you get the sixth for free. So if you're maybe already a demonstrator or you have somebody that you shop with, a demonstrator you don't wanna shop with me, totally fine. You can subscribe and get it delivered to your inbox every month on the first. Um, and the, it's always free to our team. So if you're on our team, um, it's free. And the fourth choice is it's always in my PDF store, always. If you just want to buy one and you don't want to subscribe, it's there. But this month, July, is the only month you can subscribe. Next month, for the rest of the six-month period, you can't subscribe. I hope I, I hope I explained that. I need to like write that down and read it. I feel like I'm always explaining it super choppy. But anyway, this is my project this month that's in here. And this was my blog hop project that you can see. Um, and... Uh, you guys know that I have a window right here to the front of my house and this plumber just pulled up and he's looking at me. He's like, what is she doing? Anyways, I'll have a link to that. Um, as soon as I um, am done here, I go back and add links to the top and you can find that there. Second thing I want to tell you is the whale done class to go. Um, we still have a couple of weeks for this. This is a cute little class that I designed that is delivered to your mailbox. It's not a local class. It comes to your mailbox and it's six cards and a board book or a mini album. Um, you can get it with the bundle or without. Um, you can get PDF only. Um, what else do I need to tell you? It comes with a pack of paper and a bolt of ribbon. And if you would like to find out the details about it, I'll add the link up here or you can hop over to my blog and click on the link at the bottom of the post. Okay, all right, so last little announcement. Here's the holiday catalog. It's not called the holiday catalog, but you guys, I have such a hard time saying the July to December 2020 mini catalog. That's too many words. I'm calling it the holiday catalog. Um, <laughs> I, we just, it's too much, too many words. The holiday catalog um, is coming. Um, crazy like I almost it hurts my head to even like look at Christmas right now some of you don't feel that way I understand but me I'm like oh I can't even I can't even think about Christmas however this year it's coming out a month early usually it comes out the beginning of September this year it's coming out the beginning of August um, if you have ordered with me basically in the last nine months you'll be getting one in the mail from me um, and they haven't arrived yet I shipped one to myself through Stampin Up and they haven't arrived. It's pretty early. It'll be close to the end of the month. Um, but you can, if you buy your starter kit this month to be a demonstrator, you can actually, <laughs> I scared me. My daughter just walked in the door. Thank you. She just went to Starbucks. Scared me half to death. I didn't see you pull up. Sorry, Sorry I was trying to be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> you were quiet and it scared me. I saw the plumber out there and I thought, is he coming in my house? Um, what was I saying? Starter kit. If you buy the starter kit in July, you can shop from this for your starter kit. That's what I was going to say. I, you guys, I can't do holiday catalog yet, but we'll get there. I promise. <laughs> okay, we are ready. So Facebook Friday today, we are doing the So Much Happy Bundle. If you've never joined me for Facebook Friday, I always pick a product and then design three projects with it. And over at my blog right now, pinkbuckaroo.com, you will find all the details for these three projects as well as this PDF. The PDF is under the last photo. It has all the um, products that I use and then the measurements that you will need. You can save it, you can print it, you can do whatever you want with it. It's free, of course, for you. Um, it's um, over there if you want it. So hop over there, pinkbuggeroo.com to grab that. The other part of Facebook Friday is that I will send you today's make and takes for free if you order um, by Monday at midnight, 
using the host code. Orders need to be over $35 to qualify for the free make and takes. Now, caveat this week, usually I cut those on Tuesday morning, mail them on Wednesday, but this week, since I'm going to be out of town, it will be the following week. So it'll come a week late if you do. Some of you order from me almost every week, so you, you're you used to that consistency. So don't panic, it'll just come a week late, okay? Okay, and this is kind of what they look like. They come, I score everything for you. You get a little thank you tag um, and everything's ready for you. You just need the stamps and the ink and the dies that like this week you'll need the happy dies for your, for your kit. Whatever I'm um, showcasing is what you'll need. Okay, let's get started. So I have not even been looking at y'all's comments. <sighs> I did I miss anything I don't know okay I'll have to come back and look all right so this is a bonus project this is the one we're not making but I just wanted to give you one more idea and I'll post it in the details on Monday okay it's cute but that's a, it's a lot of cutting I thought for Facebook Friday that would be too much all right let's start let's start with a the paper pumpkin box the mini paper pumpkin box is so cute um this is the one and only time that i've used them so far this was actually our stamp club project last month our last stamp club project um and the box is cute and i'm realizing right now that i put it on backwards <laughs> do you guys see that anyway this is a little paper pumpkin box and it's so cute and this, these are super sturdy they would make a great little gift box but they're also coated wax coated on the inside um so if you want to put you know, um, food in there, like uh, cookies or brownies or whatever, the grease, you know how it stains the paper sometimes, it won't do that. So that, let's make that first, all right? All right, let me grab what I need over here. And the other thing this week, guys, usually I do a clean recording of each of these projects and that's not gonna get done today, I apologize. I just, you know, sometimes you just can't get it all done. And that this is that week. Let's put the um, box together first. This is how they come. They're really easy. If you are a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, um, you know how those boxes are awesome. Do I have one sitting in here? I do not. I was going to compare sizes with you. It's much smaller than the regular Paper Pumpkin box. Um, it's a good size. It really is. So you're just going to, you know fold it. Uh, uh, some other things you can do with this is spritz the outside to change the color. Um, you can use your brayer and roll ink all over the outside to change the color. You can cut paper for each of the, um, you know, for this part, this part, this part, and cover it all so it looks like it's made of paper, of the pattern paper, our, our designer series paper. But I just left mine white and we're just going to decorate the top. So see how cute that is? It's very cute. Have any of you ordered these? They are so fun. So we're gonna cut, let's see, I'm a little like, oh, where do I start today? We're gonna use this gorgeous paper, the Artisan Blooms paper. And I wanted to show you guys, this paper at first really didn't stand out to me in the catalog. Um, I don't, this is too busy for me, but I really love the other sides of this paper. Look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So that's, I've been using that a lot. I do like this print too. Um, and then look, it's an ombre. Really, really pretty. Um, that's the same one. No, is that the same? No, it's different. See, look, it's like the opposite. So anyways, this, um, this pack of paper is, don't be fooled by the, the super busy pattern if that one doesn't speak to you because the back side might. It's really, really pretty. <laughs> Jen, you're already on your second pack. It's very pretty, isn't it? Okay, so what we're gonna do, why do I have an extra piece here? Oh, I know, <laughs> I know. All right, what we're gonna do is I, and remember those measurements are over on the PDF, okay? Um, we're going to, Start with just a piece of the DSP there on the um, top of the box. Oh, I do like that pattern too. It's very um, busy, but I like it. That would be cute for like a little girl's birthday invitation or something. All right, now 
we're going to use, I've cut two other pieces. Um, one's one inch thick and the other is an inch and a half thick. And we're going to frame that happy right there in the middle. We're, this is the rainbow glimmer paper. I showed you guys this gorgeous paper last week and it is lovely, lovely. Um, we're also going to cut the banner from uh, one of the DSPs, kind of a I think actually I'm going to use this side. It'll make the banner look like it's a lot of different colors. And because I bought the French set, look, I have two banners, two banner dies. Mm -hmm. but, but you know what? We're going to put some adhesive on the back of this. Um, when I made these for my stamp club, I did not put the adhesive backing and I really regretted it because um, it was the fine tip glue. <laughs> You guys know the fine tip glue and I, we are not friends um, and I made a mess. So we're going to do that. I'm going to lay this. Let's see how I want to do this. I don't want to waste it. So I'm going to put this. These are our new adhesive sheets and it basically turns your paper into a big sticker. And we're going to uh, use this, I think, for all three projects today. All right. Well, I guess I'm going to use that side because I put that on the sticky side. I said I was going to use that busy pattern, but now we're going to use the lime green, the granny apple green. All right, Big Shot. Where is it? Here we go. Oh, you guys, speaking of Big Shot, my Big Shot is on its last leg and we have that new machine coming out and demonstrators get to pre-order it next month, which means you guys will get it um in august i cannot wait all right here's the happy die and when you cut this it's not going to cut out the individual letters like you would think um, a letter die would this part this edge and this edge do not cut so measure your paper um however you know it's going to leave a border here so how do you want the border do you want it to be the rest of the card or do you want it to just be a strip like I'm gonna do so you kind of have to think ahead with that and I did mine two inches that gives me enough border and I'm gonna put the happy right there in the middle yeah Carla that um, fine tip blue pen we are we are not friends <laughs> we are not friends all right, let's see how this did. All right, we've got that one. The trick will be to get the um, sticker backing off of it. <laughs> um, that's usually my problem because my nails. And then this, isn't this so pretty? Look at this, oh, this rainbow paper. I just ordered more this week. I cannot get enough. And you guys, you know, I'm not really a glimmer paper person. You know, we've had glimmer paper for a long time and I'm just kind of meh with it. But uh, this rainbow glimmer paper is different. I love it. Really, really nice. All right, so we have that strip. And what we're gonna do is, I like to line it up on here to make sure I've got enough space like that. And then we'll put this one like that and it'll be perfect. Okay, so. I'm gonna flip these over and I'm gonna use my stamp and seal along the edge. It's almost so pretty, I almost don't wanna cover up that rainbow edge on it. How do I keep my plates flat, Eileen? You know, they don't stay flat. Um, some of mine are curved a lot. Um, they, you, I flip them, you know each time I well not every time but I try to one side one time put it through that way then put it through that way but they curl they curl they do um, there are there are things online that will show you how you can put them in the oven and flatten them but I have tried that and it was not successful but you know it's worth a shot all right, this is the other new adhesive, adhesive foam sheets. They're like giant dimensionals, and I love them, love them. 
Um, you guys, by the way, we talked about an adhesive kit. I have started working on those. I've ordered cute little bags. I'll be offering new adhesive kits soon. So be watching for that. All right, so I'm gonna put that like that. So you can see there's dimension in there. And then we've got these, oh, this is gonna be a pain. Come on, don't, don't be naughty on Facebook Live. There we go. Take off that sticker backing and we'll do, let's see, one up like this. And then I'm just gonna tear that like that and join it over like that. See how I did that? I just tore the edge and switched the direction. These are really long, these banners. So it's easy to do that. You can kind of get several, you know, several uh, swoops, depending on how big your piece is. Okay, so let's trim. Oh, I kind of do like that pop of green. Whoa. And right there. All right, now we're gonna, this, this stamp set has lots of words that go. Happy, like we did happy, to have you in my life, to celebrate you, I really like that one, that's one we're gonna use. Birthday, to know you. Graduation, so very, so you can put the so very up there. So lots of options. And for our third project, I'm gonna bring in um, another um, set, another sentiment set that goes with a Bravo. All right, let's see, can I stamp it straight? Ta-da! <laughs> that is straight. Um, I stamped that, here it is, it's right in front of me. I stamped that in Rich Razzleberry. Now I also want you to know that there are other, other colors in this DSP pack, not just the pinks and purples. There's um, a lot of blues and greens. So if you feel like the pink and purple are too um, feminine for whatever you're gonna make, you know, maybe it's for a guy, do the same thing with the blues and the greens. I actually had cut, I thought I would get that clean video um, made and I cut the blues to do for that, but I'm just not gonna get it done. There we go. Now, last but not least are these awesome Artistry Bloom, Artistry Blooms adhesive back sequins. Hey, Nathan. And Terry. Hi, Terry. Um, Judy says she has an old antique iron lay on top of them. Oh, to flatten the, um, the plates. That's interesting. You know, if you Google it, I bet you'll find lots of different different ways. Now I need my take your pick tool and it's not here. All right, I'm gonna get some of these. I really like these sequins. I'm gonna put one right there where those meet. And we'll put one down here and one right here. And you know, they say you should do these in odd numbers, that odd numbers are more pleasing to the eye. Who knows? And there we have it, done cute right now you could do you could do this these could be birthday gifts they could be party favors um, these boxes are gonna be I think really really popular I think the size is great and I think lots of people are gonna find lots of fun fun ways to use these especially during the holidays um, it's it's a good size for baked goods I think you know um, probably, well, I mean, it's not too terribly big for candy, but it's kind of big. <laughs> I mean, if you were going to do Hershey Kisses, that would probably be half the box. I mean, half the bag at least, but I don't know. Lots of fun things you could do and you could decorate the inside. Did I do that one backwards too? <laughs> no, that's the, that's the first one. No, I did it right. Okay. All right. So you guys like that? Cute, right? cute mini paper pumpkin boxes and that number is on here I actually am going backwards today um, that is right here 750 and I believe there are 10 in there is that right 10 all right awesome let's get to the next project uh, let's see what do I need from this tray I'm gonna bring this one over here now, my friend Kay um, <laughs> texted me yesterday and she said, have you found any Halloween candy yet? 
because <laughs> she and I are always looking for treats. And um, we've pre-ordered, you know, our from the holiday catalog, and she already was starting on her Halloween stuff. And I said, no. Have you guys, have you, it seems really early. Usually the earliest I can find Halloween candy is August, late August at Walmart. Occasionally CVS. But anyways... <laughs> Kay and I are constantly looking for candy, um, things that would make fun treats. Um, so I found these at the Dollar Tree. The other problem is that we're not doing a lot of shopping right now, right? We're not in a lot of stores looking at candy. Um, I've been getting groceries delivered, so I haven't even been in the grocery stores. But I did go in the Dollar Tree. I don't remember why I needed to go in there. But I saw these. And I'm not a huge Milky Way fan, but it says salted caramel Milky Way. And I was like, oh, that kind of sounds good. We like salted caramel. So, and I liked the color of them also. So, you know, a little pool party, little Bermuda Bay. Um, so Dollar Tree, $1, and you get six of them. All right, and this is what we're going to make, this little holder right here. All right, see how they fit in there? And you could fit other candies in there, just the little mini candies. All right. So, there goes my daughter again. So nice when they have a car and they can just bebop around and they don't have to say, can you take me to such and such? Can you take me to such and such? And then pick me up and then take my friend. Oh, la, la. Hey. those days. But my middle schooler now is doing that. She's like, I can't wait till I have a car. And I'm like, I can't wait for you to have a car too. <laughs> Little do they know, mom wants them to have a car too. Okay. Let's make the holder first. You're going to need um, a piece of, what is this, Coastal Cabana. And let me tell you the size. It's all right here, 10 by 4 and a fourth. Oop, mine's 11. I better cut it. Hold, please. Let me cut it right here. Um, 10 by 4 and a fourth. And we're going to score the long side. Where's my, oh my goodness, my stylus fell. Um, we're going to score the long side at four and five eighths. Five eighths is that one tick mark after the half. And then we're going to score at four and seven eighths. No, no, I'm looking at the wrong, I'm looking at the wrong directions. Focus, Erica. Four and five eighths and then five and three eighths. So here's the half. Three eighths is before, five eighths is after. Just in case you didn't know. Okay, then you turn it this way and you're going to score it three fourths from each side, which would be three fourths and three and a half. Now bring it back over and we're gonna do these little short score lines to show us where to trim it. Um, and you wanna do that at three inches. Is that right? That's not right, Erica, you typed the wrong thing. Let's see. We wanna do basically two inches from here, which is four and five eighths, so it would be two and five eighths. I'll need to fix that two and five eighths and then two inches from here would be seven and three eighths so that second measurement is correct and then flip it over and you're stopping at this horizontal what did I say what was this one two and five eighths okay so two and five eighths and what did I say seven and three eighths see how I'm just stopping and really that's just showing you where you're gonna cut it okay okay now, oh, this paper cutter is jabbing me in the leg. So now let's burnish those lines. And I do have a bone folder somewhere. Somewhere. I have 18 bone folders. They're never right where I need them. Um, now, take your scissors. And we're going to trim these little guys right here. And I'm just going to cut the angle. Cut them at an angle. Okay. Then I'm going to come to that score line right there and I'm going to snip and then I'm going to come all the way up and cut it off. Okay, I'm going to do that on all of those. So cut that middle tab, cut the corners, and this one. I need some music. If I was making a video, I would probably add some music. If I was making a pre recorded video right here and right there it's kind of boring to watch somebody just cut paper there we go okay so let me set it down so you can see exactly what it looks like now 
I got a little fancy with this and look at the top. Do you see the top, how it's got that weird shape? Well, that is this. These are those dies we used last week, the hippo dies. And we're gonna take this big one and we're gonna cut the top of this in that shape. Now, do you notice that I put a little mark there and a little mark there? The first time I cut it, I added those marks because then I can, when I flip it around over here, that's gonna help me line it up in the right place, okay? So the first time that you put that on there, get your Sharpie and just do a little, little, doot, doot, little dot, okay? Um, we need to cut some other things, but we'll, let's do this first because I feel like we need to focus on this. Uh, now, this is a trick, tricky, and I always have to make sure that I am thinking when I do this because we're gonna put this in here and we don't want it to cut here. We just want it to cut up here. So there's, there's different ways you can do this, but this is how I'm doing it. I'm putting the die under the paper, sliding it, and then I'm gonna line it up. Okay, I'm gonna line that dot up and that dot up with the edge and kind of center that and make sure those are right at the top. Okay, whoa, don't move. Hold your breath, don't move. And we're gonna run it through. Um, you know, hold on. I'm gonna take it over here because what I really wanna do, I don't want to run it all the way over because it might leave an indention there. So I'm gonna lay this down and I'm just gonna run it until I hear it and then go back and let's see how it did. <gasps> it did, see, isn't that neat? Okay, so let's do it again. So we have those dots and we're gonna put this under. It's kind of like you're threading this through and center it, line that up. Make sure that's on the dot and that's, whoop, that one's not. Now, you guys, I'm gonna tell you right now, they're not gonna be identical. They're just not because I'm not that good, <laughs> but they're gonna be close enough for the street holder, okay? All right, so actually, what am I doing? Let's go ahead and do that. All right, here we go. Just a little bit in so it cuts that and a little bit out. And, ta-da! Now, when we put this up, we're gonna pinch those together and we're gonna punch that hole. Wow, they are identical. Man, I'm good. <laughs> I can tell you my other one, they are not identical. But you know what, it's gonna be close enough. You're gonna punch it, you're gonna put the ribbon, it'll be fine. All right, but hey, maybe you'll get lucky <laughs> and get it perfect like mine. But if you're making a bunch of them, don't stress, they won't all be perfect. Okay, before we put it together, let's stamp this happy all the way down. I like this, just this bold word. And mine were not terribly straight. I'm not gonna worry too much about it because we're gonna put the balloons on top, but I'm just gonna go down. Um, Coastal Cabana ink, Coastal Cabana cardstock, all the way down, okay? Now we can put it together. Um, where is my stamp and seal plus? Um, let's do these two little guys first. So I'm folding those in and putting the adhesive on the outside and then these right here, the inside of those flaps. So I'm gonna fold those into the back and fold these around. Okay, and see how that's done? <laughs> some days you get lucky, Catherine, some days you do. Some days you don't. <laughs> now we're gonna punch a hole here. Um, this is an old hole punch that we, we don't sell it anymore. Just, you can use any hole punch you have. Just a hole for the ribbon, okay? So I'm gonna punch that. There we go, like that. Now, before we close it up, let's go ahead and decorate. I'm gonna put those candies in there. Whoops. Put those candies in there. Let's do our little balloons, okay? And we're gonna do one balloon from the rainbow paper. Then we're gonna do, we're gonna stamp two balloons. Let's do that, let's stamp. We've got a lot of pieces here. Now, if I was gonna make a bunch of these, I would probably do maybe 
one balloon. <laughs> I don't know if I do all of this. Maybe, I don't know. Depends on how much time and what I'm watching on Netflix. Okay, this is Magenta Madness. Beautiful, stamps lovely. All right, so we've got that, we've got that. Now, we're gonna put adhesive backing on the black and the magenta, okay? So here is your adhesive sheet. Oh, I was gonna tell you guys something funny. See how that's pulling apart like that? It reminded me, because I still have cardstock on there. Um, this morning, I came in here and I had my socks on and I stepped on some paper and it was sticking to my foot and I reached down to take it off and I realized it was a scrap um, from this project and I went to peel it off my sock and it left all the adhesive on my sock. So it was like, you know, doing its job, doing what it's supposed to do. But then my foot was sticking to the floor and it was pretty darn sticky. Oh, let's put that there. Little piece of magenta and we'll just cut that off. I thought, well, I'm gonna have to tell everybody that it will even stick your foot to the floor. It's that good. Okay, now, I guess I'm also telling you that my office is a mess and there's paper all over the floor. You know there is, you know. All right, let's bring all this over. I'm gonna tell you what all of these pieces are for. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I just, I don't know what it is about this rainbow paper that I absolutely love. All right, now remember, I have two die sets. So that means I have two balloon dies. Another good reason to have the Bravo and the happy dies. So I'm gonna do one there. Mm, let's do it right in the middle, okay? And then I'm gonna set this up over here, hopefully, hopefully. Okay, now remember, we put adhesive. Oh, there's my mail lady. She's coming to pick up my In Color Club kits, all my In Color peeps. Your kits are going out today. Um, she's gonna be like, why, who is she talking to? Um, there's the little bow for the magenta. That's part of the die set. And then we're gonna do, these are the balloon, you know, what are they called? The balloon strings. All right, let's run it all through. Run it all through. My mail lady is amazing. You know, I talk badly about the USPS, but she, if it wasn't for her, man, she's amazing. So they aren't all, you know, bad. I don't even want to use that word. You know, you know, you guys know. It can be frustrating um, working with the post office, but she is amazing. She gave me her phone number one day and she said, you text me anytime you need me to come get anything or you need stamps, you just text me and I'll bring them to your house. I'm like, my gosh, she's so nice. And then in the beginning when I started shipping out class kits, um, I would always feel really bad. Like, I'm so sorry. There's a bunch of mails for you to pick up. And she would always say, you are keeping me in a job. Do more, do more. And I thought, wow, that's an amazing lady right there. She, you know, because sometimes they're not nice to you. <laughs> when I take things to our local post office, they are not nice at all. None of them, like none. There used to be one lady that was really nice, but I haven't seen her. Of course, I try not to go at all. Okay, so we're gonna pull these off. Remember, I put the stickers on the back, like that. Belinda, hi, how are you? Um, okay, we've got that, we've got all that, we've got all that. So let's bring our holder over, and we're gonna use dimensionals, of course. My kids are at my mom's right now if you've wondered why it's so quiet my kids my two not all of them my two younger kids are at my mom's she is going to the coast with us next week and she is cooking enchiladas and spaghetti and some other things to take so they went over to help her she's trying to help me find things to get them out of the house because I don't know those of you with kids at home the video games out of control 
All right, now I'm gonna do these. I'm gonna stick these down, trying to make them all kind of look a little bit different, um, even though they're all identical. My middle schooler really um, has been struggling with all of this isolation. She, uh, she's really struggling. And she's, she's one that just has, you know, my oldest daughter is the one that has a thousand good friends, but Emma's more like three very best friends, you know, like she has a small crowd of really close friends and it's been hard for her. I don't know. It's been really hard. Um, more so, I guess, because my oldest, she has a car and so she can go, you know, bebop and do whatever she needs to do. She's also still working. Um, so that helps. And then my little one is running around playing outside and has the kid next door that she plays with. So, but my sweet little Emma, she's just really having a hard time of it. And how do you help, you know, a 13 year old with finding things to do that aren't, that don't involve TikTok or YouTube or Instagram? It's, it's tough. All right, we're gonna put that right there. And there we go. So see how I did all those coming to that point right there? Um, and they had that adhesive backing, so it was easy to just stick it right down. Um, and same with that, it just stuck it down because it's tiny and it's hard to use that little fine tip glue. Okay, now we're gonna use this piece. I, do I, oh no, no, I have a piece cut. All right, now we are gonna stamp the happy and the birthday, but I need to clean that for sure. Have y'all's kids been struggling? Um, I, you know, I said at the beginning that this has just been a really bad week for all of us. <sighs> just feel like, you know, like we're, we're weary. That's the word that I came up with. We're weary of all of this. We're tired. We miss life. <laughs> and uh, this week just has just kind of been really, really hard. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know what's gonna come of this, you know? the. Uh, mental health aspect of all of us being locked away for so long and not seeing people. I think it's going to take a toll. Why am I getting so serious on Facebook Friday, y'all? <laughs> Did that in magenta madness. Sorry. I always say we're not going to talk about it here, right? We're not going to talk about it. Um, Trisha, you have a 10-year-old struggling? Yeah, I know. All right, now this stamp, I have a hard time stamping this one straight. So let me, let me, let me practice. Let's look and see what I need to, oh no, that was good. Okay, sometimes, you know, you have to like, it needs to go up or down. There, so Magenta Madness um, and Gorgeous Grape. All right, now, dimensionals right here. Hi, Ellen, good to see you. Um, Danielle, you say your 13, 11 year old granddaughters are learning sign language. Wow, that's a great thing to do and reading a lot. Yeah, reading. <laughs> you know, I read a lot too. And that is probably, I need to, I need to crack down. It's hard, it's hard. All right, I'm gonna trim that because I want it just the width of the holder. There we go. We're almost done with this. Let's get the ribbon. This is pool party ribbon, and it's pretty stiff, this ribbon. Um, I don't know. I don't know what, um, you know, this may be, this may not be the pool party ribbon. It's not, it's the Coastal Cabana ribbon. I put the wrong item number on there, you guys. This one comes in, which pack is it? Hmm, I'll have to look. But I'm gonna, instead of tying a bow with that, I'm gonna tie with my favorite twine, I'm gonna tie the two ends together. Like, oh, come on, this. And you know, if you set something on there, it makes it a lot easier. Probably not a inked stamp, it's probably not the best choice. <laughs> there we go. And this will hold it together. There we go. And just go in the direction that your bow wants to go. And push that down and there you have it. Let's make that even. Dup. 
there you go. A little party favor, a little treat for somebody you work with. The mail lady, if you know her birthday. I, I, my mail lady gets lots of our Facebook Friday treats. She's probably like, it's not my birthday, but I'll take the candy. Okay, let's look up that ribbon real quick before, because I think I put the wrong ribbon on there. Let's see. I think I said that was pool party ribbon. Number three, sheer pool party. But no, that's what I used right here. Playing with patterns ribbon combo pack. But they're very similar. Okay, let's investigate. Hold on. Let's compare. Let me get it because I know I have it. This is what I thought I was using. This is the... Are they both pool party too? What does this one say? Oh, this one's Coastal Cabana. This one's pool party. But gosh, they look the same, don't they? Oh, this is so different. This is totally different. Look. Hmm. So this is the pool party ribbon. Super light and like sheer. And this is the playing with patterns Coastal Cabana ribbon. And it's real stiff. Either one would work. This is going to tie a better bow. This is going to tie a better bow than that. Huh. Still learning something new. It takes me a while <clears throat> to learn all the things from the new catalog, especially the names. All right, last project. What time? Oh, gosh, 10 minutes. Okay, I told my husband I'd be ready at noon. Last thing, we're going to make this card. Here are the Bravo dies. And um, let, me, let me make some room. Um, now, I made this card with the happy dies, too, so you could see. Bravo, congratulations, happy to know you. Whatever, whichever you want to use. But I want to point out to you that, and I was open to that page, right here. So here are the happy dice, right? And then, then it will say available in French. Well, if you go online, you'll see it in French there, and it says Bravo. So on this one, I listed the Bravo dies. Um, again, if you missed it at the beginning, it's the French dies, um, Bravo instead of happy. Um, I think you need both die sets. <laughs> I, I like I like word dies, so I was like, yes, I was gonna hop right on that. Okay, okay. Let's. This is the other uh, sentiment I'm using for the congratulations. Um, this one right here from Well Said. All right, let's get this done. Oh, my husband's here. He's probably tapping his toes. Like, let's go. All right, let's do, we're going to stamp, and I said pool party. Nope, I don't want Bermuda Bay. I want pool party. Nope, Coastal Cabana. I said <clears throat> that I used pool party, but I did not. I used Coastal Cabana stamped off, all right? And I'm just using this scrap piece of paper because I don't know where my grid paper is. So I'm just going to stamp the stars like this. Stamp off, you know, like... One over here and then over here. So it's light. Put one in the middle. And we're gonna cut out the middle section here on this card, okay? Now the measurements, you're gonna need the measurements um, on that PDF because it tells you you're gonna need to get a ruler and a pencil, which was just right here. And we're gonna mark on the sides. On the left side, let me look, three and five eighths, just a teeny tiny little pencil mark, three and five eighths and four and seven, no, that's not right. That should say on your right side. Man, I made a lot of mistakes on my PDF today. Okay, ignore that. All right, on the, no, that is right. On the right side, one and an eighth. It, the PDF is right, it's me that's wrong. And then two and a fourth, okay? Little pencil mark. Then come over here to the left side and do, what did we say? Three and five eighths and four and seven eighths, okay? Now, I probably should be using a different pencil. Now, get your trimmer or your baby paper cutter and we're gonna line up this, this pencil line right here and this one over here. 
the first one and we're going to cut okay and then we're going to come over here and we're going to line the bottom one up with that bottom pencil oh i just wiggled it that was not good it's all right it'll be fine okay so we've got that i'm going to go ahead and stamp the congratulations on there okay let's see can i get it straight do i do i attempt let's see is it going to stamp straight yes okay you know sometimes you just really got to test your stamps <laughs> and see if they're going to stamp right okay now let's move that and move that we're going to take we're going to cut out several pieces of cardstock we need our piece of sheets and i've got one piece for the bravo dies okay we don't need adhesive on the back but we're going to cut those banners again so I've got, ooh, I didn't put that on very straight, but it doesn't really matter. We've got one in Coastal Cabana, one in Pool Party, and one in Bermuda Bay. Now, if you run this through with this sticky adhesive poking out, it's gonna make a mess on your plates. So make sure you've cut all that off. I've just cut. This is what was sticking to my foot this morning. <laughs> Something, a piece just like that. Um, so I'm just going to trim off that extra adhesive so that it doesn't stick to my plates. I made my cardstock a little bit bigger. If you measure, you won't have any waste, but you know, you know how I do things. Okay. There we go. Now stick that so it doesn't stick to my foot. Now let's get the, the cut machine. Come over here and grab our bravo dies bravo and what i was saying at the beginning is that these are the french dies and so i looked up what does bravo mean in french because i know like in english we say bravo as congratulations well done um because i thought does it mean happy in french but it from what i was from what i googled it does not it means the same thing as how we use it so um, my, I suspect maybe Stampin' Up! was like, okay, what word can we use that has five letters in French? You know, so it's not exactly the same word, but you can use it with those, those stamps. All right, so we've got that one. Let's run this through real quick. Get this one. Um, Christine, I will change your mind on that. Christine says she loves Halloween, but she's not totally excited about what she saw in the, in the new holiday catalog. Don't you worry. Halloween is my jam. And I will, I will convince you. I actually really like it. The colors are not necessarily, well, they are, but you know, I like just good old orange and black. And they're not really like that, but I promise you, you will love it. You will love it. It's funny how sometimes something you're like, hmm, but then you see other people use it. You're like, okay, I can do that. All right, so now we're going to take these two pieces. Whoops, this one goes on the top. And I've also cut out a pool party piece that is three and three fourths by five. And it's exactly the, the size that we want our white to be. So I'm gonna lay this on here so I can see exactly where I need it to be when I adhere it, okay? So let's move it down a little bit like that. And then I'm gonna take my adhesive of choice and lay that i'm not adhering it yet to that pool party piece i'm just using it as a guide to see where i need to adhere okay and now we'll do this way up here like this okay now we have that it looks kind of wonky but it it will make sense i promise Snip all of these off even. Hello, hello, come on. With your white. And erase your pencil lines too, which I need to do right here. 
I cut the other ones off, I think, but not these. All right, so there, now we have that. Isn't that cute? And let's get our big adhesive foam sheets. Love, love, love. You guys add these to your order next time. You will love them. You will love them. If you love dimensionals, you will love these. Okay. So we're going to stick that to the pool party piece. And the pool party piece is not meant to frame. It's just meant to go in the background. Okay. And let's get our banners. And we're just going to crisscross crisscross <laughs> yes I've been told that before Christine that I'm an enabler good I'm glad that's my job sometimes it's hard um, for me too if I see something in the catalog and then I see it over and over and over again online it's hard for me to think outside the box and think differently of you know if it's using you know how they um, feature um, stamp sets with the DSP from you know in sweets and I don't maybe I don't like the DSP it's hard for me to see the stamps in any other way um, and but sometimes just pulling in different colors you know can change that okay oh you know what I meant to cut when I had those over here let's do it real quick a star we need a star from our rainbow glimmer rainbow glimmer Oh, it's noon. It's noon. He's going to come busting in and be like, let's go. He's very excited, Belinda. I don't know if Belinda's still on here. We got our new boat. She's, Belinda and I have known each other for a million years. She's a local friend who we, I taught school with. And uh, we were just talking about boats the last time she was over here. She helps me. Her and Denise have been helping me um, get stuff done remotely. Oh, I miss my friends hard I want to see my friends all right that little star is gonna go right there now wait there's more I'm gonna take Denise is texting me Denise I just I, don't, I thought she was on here I guess not um, Denise I'll I will get back to you um, I'm gonna take my wink of Stella and I am going to make this look like I cut it out of that glimmer paper but I didn't I just added glimmer to it so cute it really adds a lot and then I also colored in these little stars here now just think of the possibilities right it doesn't have to be tur turquoise themed coastal cabana Bermuda Bay no it could be pinks it could be purples it could be black black and silver would be pretty like for you know congratulations lots of possibilities here all right, let's put it on our card base. And we'll just use this since it's here. You guys, okay, I have a trick to show you. I saw in a video yesterday. I'm having a hard time not doing the check mark with a new adhesive. And this, this adhesive was designed not to do the check mark. So a lot of times my adhesive has gone down too far. Well, if you run it back over the adhesive that you've already done, it will get it started again just a little like that and it pulls it see how right now it's not doing it so i'm just going to come over here and do that and then it works so if you're having trouble if you order the new adhesive and you're having trouble with that that is helpful all right last but not least we're going to use the holiday rhinestones remember the holiday rhinestones from the holiday catalog last year they're in the annual catalog and there are pool party or coastal cabana i think they're pool party rhinestones in this pack and they just add a little something something to the cart. Oh no, what is that? Something sticky, get off. There we go, okay. Whew. All right, and we are done. Bravo or happy, either one. One thing I want you to notice is that when I did these, it was up a little bit too high. So make sure you lay it down on that pool party so that you can get that centered. Um, because over here, it was a little more to the right than I had wanted and I had it really been paying too much attention as I was, you know, adhering them. All right, you guys, that's it for this week. Remember, 
um, by Monday at midnight. I will send, if you put your order in, $35 minimum, use a host code. I will send you these three make and takes for free. Where's the other one? Um, not next week, but the week after, because next week I'll be gone. I'll be out of town. So um, no Facebook Friday next week. All right, I'm sorry. I have projects planned already for the, the next two Fridays, but not next week. Okay, you guys. Um, I hope you guys are well. I hope you are staying safe. Thank you for being patient with me as I um, try to juggle these two jobs of being mom and a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Um, we'll get through it. We will. You guys have been great. Thanks. I will talk to you in two weeks. Bye, everybody.